What's up guys? Sorry, I did not get a video out Friday. I was under the weather. Just everybody in my office has been sick and it finally caught up to me. But feeling better today and I want to talk to you about three tools, unlikely tools, that you can have always in your bag for running service calls. thing we're going to talk about is your brush. You should have a wire brush, a big wire brush. Yes, we keep the little ones that look like toothbrushes. Use those for cleaning coils and stuff, but this brush is great for, for your ribbon burners and cleaning, you know, just cleaning the burners off or whatever you need it for. I always keep this in my tool bag, but one thing that you can use this brush for if you get in a jam is Take one of these bristles and just pull it out with your needle nose. Okay, so now we got a, now we got one of the very tiny, but you can see the uh, pull the bristle out. And if you get in a instead of having like a pilot orifice bit, which I'll show you right now. Those are really handy, but they're also, they break really, really easily. And, you know, let's face it, we lose them or they snap in half, one of the two. So if you've got a pilot orifice like this one right here, you can always take this that's clogged. Let's say it's clogged for some reason. <laughs> always blow it out first. But if I don't get it with that, then you can use the bristle from your brush and it usually will fit into the little holes you gotta have decent sight, but this one fits perfectly in here. So, oops. So you can see I got it shoved into one of the holes. There's two holes on here. So I would just push it through there and clean out the orifice, and that's that. Then you can put the orifice back in your pilot assembly. So more times than not, I would use that because I would lose my brooch. I think they call it a brooch um, drill bit or it would break. The next thing is this, always keep kept just a piece of cut wire, whether it doesn't matter what it is, it could be two wire, four wire, six wire, eight wire, 10 wire, doesn't matter, but I would, I would always keep a piece of wire in my tool bag for a couple of reasons. First, I can make myself a jumper wire really quick, you know? Um, in a jam, I can't find my jumper, jumper wire or I, it broke on the last one, well now, I've just, I can make it my own jumper wire really quickly. Next thing I would use it for is two different things. If, if my burner's jumping around on me and it's just not firing properly, every so often there'll either be a little piece of rust or anything that's within the gas pipe could get clogged in that burner orifice. Or it could have be just like a, if it's the beginning of the season, you might get like a spider web in there. So I would go ahead and bend this and just stick it into the orifice and I would clean each orifice. And I've still, you know, I've had to tell my guys um, to, to try that, even just recently on one that was flickering for some reason. And once they did that, it fixed it. So once in a while, it will fix it. So it's great to have this just in your tool bag that doesn't take anything to just cut a piece of wire and leave it in there. Also, you can, you know, pull the tube off of the pressure switch port that's mounted to your combustion housing and you can use this to to just poke through it and make sure that it's all clean and then take it loose from the pressure switch put it back to the port and blow through it just to knock any loose stuff out of there i've had those clogs so bad that you can that you actually needed a drill bit to, to clean them out so that can happen if you can't push your wire through there then you may have to need a drill bit the next thing is a hanger. You know, we're always needing to mark something. We need a pilot bit for something. So when I cut this, so basically I'm just gonna take, cut here and cut here. That's gonna be my marker bit. But always make sure when I cut it, to cut it at an angle. So that one side, so that one side is pretty jagged and sharp. 
The other side, I don't really care. I'll just cut flat. And then I can put that in my drill bit. Put that in my drill. And boom. You may have to keep your hand on it as you're drilling through something just so it doesn't get wobbly on you, but this thing will go through almost anything. You can see how sharp the tip is that I left on it. It's kind of hard. They're pretty jagged and sharp. So, but this is a great marker bit, you know, for shooting, uh, for locating ceiling registers or floor registers and leaves such a tiny hole that you know, it's not gonna create a problem, something that you're gonna have to fill if you if you have to move it over. You can fill it really easily, put it that way. So anyhow, that's three tools that I always kept in my tool bag. There's no reason not to keep these things. It's so easy and you can use them um, and they just come in really handy. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and comment below. And uh, if you want to learn more, check out www.hvacserviceready.com and we'll talk to you on the next one. You guys will get two videos this week. This is just one. I'll get one out on Friday as well. So, go make money. Boom.